was, for some of the elderly players, the only enjoyable time they have had in recent years. Remember as you watch the film, one day you will be old. Today I'm going to talk about the amusement park. It stars Lincoln Mazel and is directed by George Romero. It only runs 52 minutes and it only cost $37,000 to make. It was filmed in 1973, made between Season of the Witch and The Crazies. And it only took three days to film at Westview Park. George Romero directed this film in 1973 and it was made for an educational film about the elder abuse. But it was shelved because it was too disturbing. There was too much horror in this film so they had to shelve it. And it was believed to be lost until a 16mm print was found in 2017. And it's now been restored in 4K in 2019. It's just recently been streamed. So although this film was made in 1973, people are classing it as 2019 because that's when it was like properly found and in 4K. And it is really a 70s film. So George Romero is one of my favourite horror directors. I love his zombie films, especially Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. But he's done lots of other films as well. And in many ways, this is one of his most disturbing films. It's all about the horror of old age. Hey, Phil, you're an old bugger. Hey, I'm only 52. <laughs> exactly an old bloody fart. <laughs> <laughs> the star Lincoln Mazel is in the introduction. Yeah, talks to the audience at the beginning. And he also pops up at the end. He's like basically saying this... This film's going to be really shit scary about old age. And it happens to us all. When the film starts proper, he's in this white room and he's talking to someone else. It turns out it's him. So there's like a time loop. He's not wanting to go outside. And he's talking to this other guy. But it's him who goes outside into the amusement park. It's totally weird. And then it ends with the guy who went outside going back into the room. And he starts talking to this other guy who's him. So it's like a time loop. It's going around in a circle non-stop. This symbolises that everyone grows old. You start off full of life. Want to go to the amusement park to enjoy yourself. And you come back into the room like an old man. Hey Phil, you look like that old fella when you're walking around bloody Blackpool. <laughs> I'm not surprised this film was shelved because th th there is quite some disturbing imagery. It's not gory or anything, it's more psychological horror. You see the angel of death, you don't see like close up of him. He's like in the film quite often but it's only briefly. So you see him walking around in the background or in the back of a roller coaster. So it's good that, that they didn't linger on him but he's there all the time. There is some weird scenes, there's like a strange scene where this old woman's sitting on a coffin for some reason. <laughs> the actual amusement park is like to symbolise like society and life. And what happens in the amusement parks, like um, reference and what's happening in real life. So for instance, there's this old couple on a on a dodgem and they bump into this other dodgem car. But in the film, they're, they're like arguing as though like it's real life. And they complain that it's an old couple driving and they shouldn't drive. I think one of the most um, disturbing bits is a scene where there's a young couple going to this fortune telling tent and they want to know what the, the, the future holds. Fortune teller tells them he's going to turn into an old man and he's going to be ill in bed, dying. And she's going to be an old woman and there's scenes of her like trying to go to a phone box wanting money to, to phone the doctor and the doctor won't come, he keeps ignoring her. Why can't you come to see 
see my husband. We've always been good patients. As poor as we are, we've always paid our bill. Eventually she goes back to the, the apartment and he's dead in bed. So really disturbing that. So the film focuses on Mazel and he's like walking around the amusement park actually goes into this place where they're bringing all the old people they're saying come on come in here have a good time and he goes inside and it's like an old folks home they're walking around on like simmer frames he runs away from there and he's wanting company of people and they're just walking past them there's like lots of shots of like younger people ignoring them there's one scene where he's trying to read this um the three bears to this little girl and a mother takes her away from him and he breaks down and starts crying that's a really yeah uh, sad scene and not not by the hair of my chimney chin chin i don't oh, no, no. <laughs> There's also a weird scene where there's this rich person having a meal because he's got money like the the, the waiter and everything's running up his ass. Uh, when Mazel ha has a meal they the, like just plonk his plate down so it just goes to show what the elite are like they get all the, the perks and this is like a living nightmare it's a bit like the film with Razor Head that's like a, a nightmare type of film. So it's a disturbing film all about the horror of old age and it, it's not for everyone. It's not really a, like a horror film, it's more like more weirdness. So if you like stuff like that you'll probably enjoy this film, I did. It's nice and short, only 52 minutes. So out of 10 I think I'd give it 8. <laughs> out of 10. I didn't like it, Phil. Made me feel old. You're only about 150 bones. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't rub the fucker in. Okay, everybody, bye. See you next time. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye. It should be obvious to all of you that the amusement park need not end in a sterile white room. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the park someday.